technology. Email. Game. Computer. Laptop. Wi-Fi. Website. Mobile. Touch screen. Text message. Earbuds. Write the words to fill the gaps. 1. You use a keyboard to write on a computer. It has letters or characters on. 2. You can play a game on the computer for fun. 3. Google, YouTube and Wikipedia are types of website. 4. A computer is an electronic machine. You use it for going on the internet, storing information and playing games. 5. A laptop is a computer that can travel with you. 6. Internet connection without wires or cables is called Wi-Fi. 7. An email is an electronic letter. 8. Your mobile is your personal telephone. 9. You use a mouse to move and click on a computer. 10. The part of your computer where you see the pictures or words is the screen. Write the words to fill the gaps. 1. You use a keyboard to write on a computer. It has letters or characters on. 2. You can play a game on the computer for fun. 3. Google, YouTube and Wikipedia are types of website. 4. A computer is an electronic machine. You use it for going on the internet, storing information and playing games. 5. A laptop is a computer that can travel with you. 6. Internet connection without wires or cables is called Wi-Fi. 7. An email is an electronic letter. 8. Your mobile is your personal telephone. 9. You use a mouse to move and click on a computer. 10. The part of your computer where you see the pictures or words is the screen. Okay, get your notebooks ready. In this lesson, we're focusing on the present perfect tense. What it looks like, how to use it, and when to use it. If you don't feel confident using the present perfect tense in English yet, there's probably a few reasons why. There's those nasty irregular verbs in past participle form. Or maybe you feel unsure about when to use the present perfect and when to use the past simple tenses. Even if you're quite good at using the present perfect tense in English, it's definitely worth reviewing this tense to jog your memory. That expression means to remind yourself. So are you ready to start? Grab a notepad and a pen and let's go over this beautiful tense right now so that you can feel more confident using it. First thing, the grammatical structure. What does it look like? Well, it looks like this. Subject, have or has, and your main verb in past participle form. So the subject, you already know this. You can use a proper noun or a pronoun. I, she, they. In the perfect tenses, the verb have is an auxiliary verb. It's a helping verb. 
It's not the main verb in the sentence. And that means that it's usually unstressed and often contracted when spoken. So she has becomes she's. I have becomes I's. But then comes the main verb. In the present perfect tense, the main verb is in past participle form, not in past simple form. Now, this is no problem for regular past tense verbs. For regular verbs, the past participle form is the same as the simple past. So you just need to add ed. Watch in the present tense becomes watched in past simple and it's also watched in past participle form. Laugh becomes laughed and is also laughed. Dance, danced, danced. Call, cold, cold. And even some irregular verbs use the same verb for past simple as the past participle form. Have in the present tense becomes had in the simple past and it's also had as a past participle. Easy, right? Win, won, won. But these really irregular verbs are the ones that cause all of the headaches because there are three different forms that you need to remember. Go in the present tense becomes went in the past simple and in the past participle form, it's been or gone. Some more examples. Fly, flew, flown. Throw, through, thrown. Do, did, done, become, became, become, speak, spoke, spoken. I'm sure you can think of many more examples. An action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present. I have lived in Bristol since 1984, equals and I still do. An action performed during a period that has not yet finished. She has been to the cinema twice this week, equals and the week isn't over yet. A repeated action in an unspecified period between the past and now. We have visited Portugal several times. An action that was completed in the very recent past, expressed by just. I have just finished my work. An action when the time is not important. He has read War and Peace. Equals the result of his reading is important. The negative is really simple too. Just put not after have or has. To make a question, put have or has in front of the subject. As you can imagine, for WH questions, we just put the question word before have or has. Where have I left my umbrella? What have you done today? Why has he gone already? Where has she been in the UK? Why has it rained so much this summer? What have we done? Where have they